Welcome. My name is Shakara. This is Righteous Wives. Righteous Wives means that we are in submission to Christ. I invite you to join us as we seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. This is a I know, I know, I know word. Yeah. Right now, word. Come and get this word right now. It's a right now, right now, right now word. Yeah. Right now, word. Come and get this word like right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. Good evening, Dion. How are you? I'm just fixing this, y'all. As soon as today, the Lord is saying. I'm just going to let you guys gather on in here. As soon as today, I have a word. We're just going to spend some time in the word together. Amen. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hello, everybody. I'm just fixing my little tripod, y'all. There we go. As soon as today, we're going to get in the word today. Hello. I hope everyone is well. I hope you're well. As soon as today. Welcome on. I'm so excited. I realized that I like evening. I like to do work in the evening more. Hello, Monique. How are you doing? Monique is my middle name. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Welcome on. All right, so... I just did a short, but I wanted to do like a long version of the short. And I just wanted to come and encourage you today in the word. Because the Lord says that as soon as today you can enter his rest. Amen. And so I'm coming out of the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 7. Um, let me see. Is it Hebrews 7? No, Hebrews 4, verse 7. It says, So God set another time for entering his rest, and that time is today. Amen. God set another time for entering his rest, and that time is today. How many of you are growing weary? How many of you have been battling anxiety, depression? How many of you have been feeling like you're alone in this fight? How many of you have been feeling like God is not hearing you or you're not sure what is going on? You've been in, in a particular situation for a long amount of time and you're just praying that God would release you. You know that you're in Christ, but you still feel like you're bound God is saying, I want you to enter my rest. The word says that we can cast our burdens onto the Lord and he would give us rest. And so I like to do this exercise, right? Where I want you to put your hands on your shoulders. Anybody who's watching me right now, even when you watch the replay, put your hands on your shoulders and say, Lord, I cast my burdens onto you and release your hands. And so every day when you feel burdened, when you feel weak, when you feel weary, I want you to take a minute, I want you to take a deep breath, and I want you to place your hands on your shoulders, and I want you to cast your burdens onto the Lord. Lord, take a deep breath in. I cast my burdens onto you. Release. And just release your burdens onto the Lord. The Lord said, right now, today, you can enter my rest. Amen. Lord, I cast my burdens unto you. The Lord wants you to have peace. These are the part of the blessings of the Lord. Many times when we think about blessings, we think about the abundance of money. We automatically think about finances and material things. We think about houses, homes, cars, marriages, husbands, wives, whatever. But you can enter the abundance of God's blessings right now in this moment by casting your burdens onto him and letting him take over. And so many times when we're trying to make things happen ourselves, forgetting that we serve a God who is El Shaddai, the all-sufficient one. In the word, El Shaddai first appeared in the book of Genesis. 
And El Shaddai is the God who Abraham knew. El Shaddai is the God who Isaac knew. And he was all sufficient in every circumstance. He was the God that gave Abraham wealth. He is the God that um, gave Abraham an inheritance. He's the God who's promised us the same inheritance that Abraham is, was privy to. And God watched over his word to be sure that it was fulfilled in Abraham's life. So why wouldn't he do it for you? Can somebody say, why wouldn't he do it for me? And so some of you are wondering the when, the how things are going to happen. And it's going to happen now. God says, as soon as today, you can enter my rest. As soon as today, you can cast those burdens onto me in the mighty name of Jesus. So I just wanted to come and bring a word of encouragement to you. God says, I will certainly bless you. He says, I will certainly bless you. And so we have to get out of the state where we are worrying. Because when we are worrying, we're worshiping Satan. And the word says that we lack nothing. So if you feel like you're in a state where you don't have, begin to proclaim that you do have. Begin to call on El Shaddai, the all-sufficient one. Lord, I, you are more than enough in my finances. Begin to stake your claim and declare these things. Lord, you are more than enough in my finances. Lord, you are more than enough in the area of my dreams. Lord, you are more than enough in my marriage, marriage restoration, my desire for marriage. You are more than enough, Lord. If you did it for Abraham, why wouldn't you do it for me? As soon as today, if you did it for my neighbor, why wouldn't you do it for me? I'm in you, Lord. I have access to the same promises of everybody else. The Lord says that you have access to an unlimited supply of the provision in the kingdom. You have access to an unlimited supply of provision in the kingdom. It's because we don't know the promises of God. It's because we don't know and we're not intimate with El Shaddai we don't understand the provision that is already supplied to us. And so we're not tapping into God's wealth. We're not tapping into God's wealth. We're chasing the wealth of the world. And God says, when you have peace, you are wealthy. He says, when you have me, you are wealthy. I am more than enough for you. I will supply all your needs. You lack nothing. And so we have to abide in, under the shadow of the almighty, El Shaddai. You have to stake your claim under the shadow of the almighty. Mighty God, I want you to stake your claim right now. Lord, I rest and I abide in your shadow. And when you are in the shadow of the almighty God, that means you have everything that you need in every circumstance. Lord, you are more than enough. Even though in the outside, it looks like I don't have. I know that I have because I know that you're my God. I know that I have I have staked my claim under your shadow. That's in Psalm 91, I believe. It's, it says, we dwelleth in the shadow of the most high. And so when we dwelleth in the shadow of the most high, he is more than enough. So get to know God as El Shaddai. Amen. I want to encourage you guys. In our last 90 day uh, transformation retreat, I had everybody to get this book. And so in this book, it will explain to you all the, um, I think it goes over 12, not all the names of God, but it may give you like 12. And so it'll speak about the God of the Bible right? And it'll tell you all his many different names. And so when you know who you're calling on, you know the characteristics of this multi-breasted, multi-faceted God that we can't, we can't even fathom or really bring uh, his existence into human words, but we try to describe God the best that we can, right? But he, he is he is El Shaddai and he has a plan to prosper you. And so you have to tap into God's plan. Amen. And so let me see. I just want to see if I can read a little. I underlined some stuff today um, under God's word. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So y'all remember Jacob, right? Um. Hold on, let me see see where I want to go with this. But I encourage you guys to get this book and read about it. Mm, Jacob was Isaac's son. El Shaddai is the one who multiplies. He's the one who blesses you. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. 
It says throughout Abraham's life, God promised to bless and multiply him. And the Bible says that Abraham's blessings are also ours. Okay, as El Shaddai, God came to Abraham in the context of total impossibility. El Shaddai is the God who makes the impossible possible. He shifts the natural to being supernatural. In the areas of your life where you feel like it is impossible for anything to shift, when you feel like it is impossible for you to overcome because you've de been dealing with the stresses of, of life or this area of your life for so long, El Shaddai is the God that you want to call on in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, he came saying... I'll just read a little bit and then y'all get it. I'll give you seed as numerous as the dust of the earth. When Abraham was 99 years old and um, when Abraham was 99 years old, this is what God told him. And if, it, if that's not possible enough, Abraham's wife was 89 years old. God sh shows his all sufficiency by turning nature around and providing miracles that are contrary to natural events. Are y'all hearing me? Although God himself set the course of nature in motion, he is more than capable of superseding all natural events. That's what happened when he caused Abraham and Sarah to have a child. Amen. And so God's going to give you vision that will bring his word to pass and so i need all of you guys to be seeking god for the, sh the vision and the strategy the vision and the strategy right that's what we want to seek god for everything that you need to prosper you already have it and so if you're unclear about what it is that you're supposed to be doing you have to begin to go in your secret place secret place and dwell under the shadow of the most high god where he is going to speak to you okay and he's going to let you in on his plans he's going to set forth the vision so that his word over your life will come to pass amen we know that everything was created through jesus christ the universe was created through jesus christ the word made flesh amen and so he says whatever you ask of me in jesus name i will do for you amen whatever you ask of me I will do for you in Jesus' name. Can somebody say, do it, God? Can somebody say, do it, God? Whatever you ask of me in Jesus' name, I will do for you. And so you have to get to know the one, the almighty God who you, whom you dwelleth under. You have to get to know him. You have to speak to him. You have to ask him questions, right? And he will let you know what direction to go, what to do. He will set forth the vision. And when many of you, you have yet to move on the vision that God's given you because you don't have the whole plan. And so you're waiting, you're continuously waiting to hear from God in order to make the first step. God is like, no, when you move, then I'm going to move. When you move, the door is already open. The provision is already there. You can't see it because you haven't done the first thing that I've told you to do. You haven't acted on the vision that I have given you already. There's some of you that's had a, a vision embedded deep down inside of you since you were a kid. And you have yet to act on it because of the outward circumstances that you have. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough knowledge. I don't have uh, the legal you know, um, language and lingo and setup in order for me to get started with this. And so you're sitting on the vision and God is saying, I've already given you the answer. I've already given you the instruction. I've already showed you where you're going. I've already revealed to you who you are. I've already revealed to you what, what I want you to do. And you keep coming back to me to this closet, tarrying and asking when I've already told you what to do. I've already set forth the vision in you. And if you would just take a step, if you would just have faith, if you would do it scared, if you would do it with nothing. God is saying, do it with nothing. Do it with nothing. And as you begin to take steps, he says he wants you to start walking in it as if you already have it. Some of you, God is calling you to move to a new place and you have yet to step forth on the new land that he has called you to, whether it's around the corner, whether it's another country, whether it's in another state, because you're afraid. You're afraid that God is not going to show up for you. You're afraid that you're not going to have what you need. But God is saying, when you take the step, then I'm going to back you up. You got to take the step first. You have to take a leap of faith and then I'm going to back you up. Amen. 
And so whatever it is that God has planted deep down inside of you, that's the answer. Many of you are allowing fear and your idea of lack holding you back from what God has called you to do. And God wants you to start walking in it. He wants you to start walking in it. So if he, if he's told you that you're going to move, if he told you that you're going to move, I need you to go start looking at looking for houses. Okay. If he told you to move, start looking for houses. If he told you that you're going to another state, I need you to put your foot on the ground. Amen. If he told you that you're going to another state, go and put plant your feet on the ground. Go and sow some seed on that ground. Okay, start preparing and start walking in it as if it's already done. Go and look at those houses. I'm just using it as an example. If he if he told you that he will bless you in peace, start walking in your peace. Put the worry down and exchange it for God's peace. He's El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough, the God who is all sufficient. We know that we serve a God who does not lie to us. God does not lie to us. So if he's not a liar, that means that whatever he has spoken to you and spoken over you, it has come to pass. He's going to watch over it to make sure that it is fulfilled. God will not be mocked. So if you're believing him for something, start walking it out. Start making provision. Start making the plan. Start setting yourself up to move forward as if you know who God is, the God that you serve. Amen. I hope you received this word today. I just wanted to come on and encourage you today. God says, as soon as today, you can enter my rest. You can enter my provision. It's up to you. It's a decision that you have to make. It's a decision that you have to constantly make every single day. As soon as today. I need somebody to type out, Lord, I enter your rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I enter your rest. God wants you to have rest. He doesn't want you to be toiling and worrying about things every single day. He wants you to keep your focus on him and he wants you to continue to move in faith. He's already planted that vision deep down inside of you. So that's what you need to do. He's already told you, you don't have to return to God 50 million times talking about the same thing, waiting for uh, confirmation after com confirmation. You don't need any more confirmation. You know what to do. You're not waiting on God. God is waiting on you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord. I pray that all of you guys enter into a space of worship. I pray that you enter into a time of worship when we get off of this live, this music, this background music that I have playing. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it always sparks a spirit of worship. Can we worship for a little while? Just do a little prophetic worship before we get off of here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, Lord, all that you are doing, Heavenly Father. I pray against every blockage over your children right now. I pray against every spirit of fear and anxiety. I pray against every spirit of doubt and mental torment, oh God. Lord, I declare the mind of Christ over your children, Lord. I pray that they walk in, Lord, what you have already prepared. Lord, I pray that your children would enter your rest as soon as today. I pray that your children would be relieved of their unbelieving hearts, Lord, and begin to walk in faith, to begin to believe your word and declare it over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we just thank you and we lift your name up right now, Lord. We thank you for bringing us together. Everybody that is struggling with things of the past, Lord, let them be released from the past today, Lord. Let your children be released from the past today, oh God. Everyone who is struggling, who has been ruminating over the past, oh God, over their past mistakes, over their past circumstances and situations, oh God. You have come to do something new in our lives. Today, as soon as today, we become new creatures in you, oh God. Help us to release the things of old. Lord, help us to be delivered from the things that torment us daily. Lord, help us to be delivered from the things that have come into our life as a result of sin. Oh God, we come before you and repent. We repent for all of our sins in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Whatever doors we 
we've opened as a result of sin, Lord. I ask that they would be closed right now by reason of the blood of Jesus, Lord. Let your children walk free in this hour, Lord. Everyone who comes into agreement with this prayer, Lord, let them be free. Many of your children are bound, and you said, Lord, that you have come that the captives may be set free, Lord. Set them free today in the mighty name of Jesus. Set them free, Lord, from the blockages in their mind, Lord, from the mental torments and attacks, oh God. Let them receive justice in every area of their life, Lord. If anybody is waiting on you to answer them, Lord, if anybody is waiting for you to do something, God, I ask that you would answer them today, Lord. I ask that you they would experience you today, Lord, during their time of prayer and worship, oh God. Lord, I pray, Heavenly Father, that justice would come upon your children, Lord. I pray in the area of marriage, oh God, where your children have been waiting for you to show up, Lord, that you would lead them and guide them in the way in which they should go, Lord, that they that you would order their steps, Lord, so that they may be found, Lord. I ask that you would prepare them, Lord, for their godly marriages, oh God, and I pray that you would open the door, Lord. Whatever the enemy has been doing to sabotage their relationships, I declare that it comes to an end right now. Wherever they have been operating out of insecurity, doubt, and anxiety, Lord, sabotaging themselves from having a healthy relationship, oh God, where they've been ruminating on the things of the path and bringing those things into their current relationships, oh God, I declare that that door of self-sabotage be closed right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. I ask that you would lift your children up out of the darkness, oh God. I ask that anybody who is dealing with depression right now, Lord, that they be set free in their mind right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever the enemy has had them held captive, oh God, I ask that they would be set free right now in the name of Jesus. By reason of the blood of Jesus, every demonic spirit that haunts them, that's been following them since they were a child, oh God, I ask that they would scatter and be destroyed by the all-consuming, by your all-consuming fire in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. I divorce them from the curse of their father's house, oh God. I divorce them from the curse of their mother's house, oh God. Let your children walk free right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Let them receive a new beginning, oh God. Let them receive a new beginning, oh God. Let them receive your word, Lord. May you write it on the tablets of their heart so that they never forget. Oh God, El Shaddai, we call on you. El Shaddai, we call on you because we know that you are all sufficient in every area of our life. Anyone who is struggling in the area of finances, anyone who is struggling in the area of finding a new position, a new job, Lord, let the doors be open for them right now. This is a season, Lord, where we will reap what we have sown, Lord. Every seed that we have sown, Lord, you will multiply it right now as you did for Abraham in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. You will make your children wealthy, Lord, in the spirit and in the earth, Heavenly Father. We receive the, the inheritance of Abraham, O oh God, for it belongs to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, everyone that is hurting right now, Lord, may their hearts be healed, Lord. Anyone who is dealing with sickness, Lord, may their bodies be healed by reason of the blood of Jesus. Lord, you said that anything that we ask in Jesus' name shall be done for us, Lord. You said that when we delight in you, that you would give us the desires of your heart. Lord, you said that when we see Seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, oh God, that you would add all of these things to us, Lord, that we don't have to worry about tomorrow. So I ask that everybody that's in a state of worry, Lord, about when, how their next bill is going to be paid, oh God, about how you're going to show up in whatever situation or circumstance they're dealing with, oh God. I ask that your spirit, your comforting Holy Spirit will come over them right now, Lord. You are a comforter, oh God. You are a provider, oh God. You are a promise keeper, oh God. You are a way maker, Lord. You don't know how to do anything anything else but perform your word in our life, oh God. So as we are believing in your word, oh God, and as we are standing firm on your word, oh God, and as we are equipping ourselves with your armor, oh God, I ask that you would show yourself faithful, oh God. Anyone who feels like they have not seen you in a while, Lord, let them see your face shine in their lives today, oh God. Let them receive this prayer today, oh God. Let them receive the fruit of this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we lift you up. We lift you up, Lord, and we thank you in advance for what you're doing oh God. We thank you in advance for loving on us. We thank you in advance for forgiving us, Lord. Anyone who is walking in shame or guilt or condemnation, oh God, let them be set free today, Lord. Let them be released from their shame, oh God. Let them know that what they are, are um, 
what is bothering them, Lord, you have forgiven them long ago, Heavenly Father. As we have repented and confessed our sins, oh God, you have thrown it into the sea of forgetfulness, oh God. Help them also to forget and keep moving forward, Lord. Let them not be bound by shame. Let them not be bound by guilt. Let them not be bound by condemnation. Lord, if anyone has had a word curse spoken over them by a family member, someone close to them, their mother, their father, their brothers, their sister, or close friend, oh God, let them be released from that word curse. I destroy it by the all-consuming fire of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Let your children be delivered under the sound of my voice, oh God. Anyone who is struggling mentally, oh God. Anyone who is struggling emotionally, oh God. Anyone who is struggling spiritually, oh God. As they're up under the sound of my voice, Lord, let them be released from those things, Lord. Let them be released from struggle, Lord. Let them enter your rest as soon as today. Oh, Father, we just thank you for being a God who is faithful. We thank you for being the God who doesn't lie. We thank you for being a God who has given us an inheritance. We thank you for being a God of forgiveness. We thank you for being a God of second chances. Oh God, we thank you when we lift you up, oh God. We thank you when we lift you up. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the King of Kings. We have victory in the mighty name of Jesus, your son. He was crucified. He died and he resurrected, oh God, overcoming death, oh God. That means that we will receive eternal life in you. That means that we have the authority and power, Lord, to tread on every serpent, oh God. That means that we can walk in our freedom. That means that we would be able to spend our lives with you, God, and death has been defeated. That means that we are victorious, Lord, in every area of our life. There is not one demon or devil, Lord, that can keep us down or keep us from receiving what you have for us, Lord. So I ask that this prayer would be uplifting. I ask that everybody that is in darkness right now, Lord, that they would see your light, oh God, that they would receive hope, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Yes, I cancel every plan. I cancel every plan the enemy has to keep your children from receiving. I cancel every plan that the enemy has to keep your children in procrastination, in fear, in doubt, and anxiety. I cancel every plan that the enemy has to keep your children shrinking back. I cancel every plan that the enemy has to keep your children from having faith in you, from walking in it, oh God. I cancel every plan that the enemy has to bring on premature death. Lord, I pray for anybody who has children on this live, Lord. Protect the children, Lord. The angels that were assigned to them at birth, Lord. Let the angels go before them, Lord, everywhere where they go. Let the angels go before them in the car. Let the angels go before them at school. Let the angels go before them in every building that they walk in. Heavenly Father, keep our children from wrong relationships, God. Any bad influences, Lord, that would influence your children in the wrong direction. We destroy the enemy's plan for their life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any child that's going through sickness, any child that's going through depression, any child that's contemplating suicide, Lord, we come against it and we destroy the plan of the enemy right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. May your light come in their minds, Lord. May your light shine in their souls, oh God. May you begin to order their steps, oh God. May the mind of Christ come over them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We place salvation, Lord, over the children of this world. We pray your salvation. Lord, give everyone on this live the the um the fire, Heavenly Father, to pursue you, Lord. Anybody who's dealing with embarrassment or who's dealing with shyness, oh God, those who you have called to get out and begin to preach your word, oh God, those who you have called to evangelize, oh God, those who you have called to have ministries, oh God, Lord, I come against the plan of the enemy to keep their mouth closed. May their voices be activated right now. May they come out of the, the spirit of embarrassment. May they come out of the spirit of people pleasing, oh God. May they step into their calling and their purposes right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we come against the plan of the enemy to cause them to shrink. We come against the plan of the enemy to keep them in a box. Lord, we ask that everyone that you have called that they would come out now. Lord, we pray over this world. Lord, we pray for the universe, Lord, as the enemy has set forth a plan to destroy it, oh God. We ask that as he as he destroys, Lord, that you would send someone else to build it back up, Lord. We pray over our states. We pray over our cities, Lord. We come against violence. We come against abortion. We come against um, everything that come, goes against your word, Lord. We hate what you hate in the mighty name of Jesus. We love what you love in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy had planned for your children, even on today, Lord, we cancel it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. May every
everyone that comes up under the sound of my voice receive freedom, Lord. May they walk free, Lord. May they walk in their promises. May they walk in their inheritance, oh God. Lord, I ask that you would restore everything that the enemy has stolen, what the locusts and the canker worm have eaten, Lord. Restore it to your children, oh God. Restore them to their rightful place, Lord. I pray over your marriages, Lord. Anybody who is believing for marriage restoration, Lord. Any strange woman that has come in, strange woman or man that has come in to separate what you have joined together, oh God. May it be destroyed and set apart right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. By reason of the blood of Jesus, may you supernaturally bring your marriages back together. The ones that you have ordained, Lord. The ones that have got off track, oh God. For the people, Lord, who you desire to stand for their marriages, Lord. May their hearts be softened, oh God. For those who you desire to enter into a godly marriage, may they begin to walk in faith. May they begin to believe you again, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do. Thank you, Lord, for all that you are. Thank you, Lord, that your promises are fulfilled. Thank you, Lord, that it has come to pass. Oh God, we just thank you in this prayer hour. We thank you, Lord, and we worship your mighty name. We believe you, God. We stand on your word firmly, oh God, resisting the enemy so that he would flee from us. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. Amen. All right, y'all. In Jesus' name, I pray that you receive this prayer over your lives, over your children, over the world. I pray that if God has called you to begin to start your ministry, to begin to, it's, it's like your call is attached to millions of souls. And so there's somebody on here who God has called and you have been afraid to step out because you're afraid of how you might look or you're afraid because of your past, what you've done in your past, that people will be looking at you crazy if you just all of a sudden start professing the name of Jesus Christ. Don't worry about people, God says. Just do what I said. For some of you, it's the answer for the change that you've been praying for for your life. It's because you're not walking in your purpose yet. It's because you have not answered the call. And so if God has called one of you on here today or some of you, I pray that you would say yes today. I pray that you would surrender yourselves to the Lord today and you would say yes and you would answer him. It's going to take you dying to yourself. It's going to take you just saying, okay, God, I'm going to do what you told me to do. I'm going to put aside my own feelings, oh God, for the sake of obedience. And I know that you will bless me. Ask God to give you the grace to step out. Can somebody say that? Lord, give me the grace to step out. In the mighty name of Jesus, as soon as today, you're going to receive a miracle. You're going to have an experience with God. And it's going to change your entire life. As soon as today, you can enter God's rest. Amen. All right. All right, y'all. So that's our time for the day. I, I pray that you enjoyed it. Um, so you guys know we're fasting on the 22nd of every month to pray our marriages down, to pray for restoration, to pray for uh, the strengthening of godly marriages, and to pray for marriages that have not yet come in yet. So if you would like to be a part of that fast, go to RighteousWives.com. While you're over there, we're going to be meeting every Thursday. We're doing our, we have a Righteous Wives transformation retreat that is year round now. Okay. And so if you would like to join us privately every Thursday, uh, to, for, to prepare for your marriages, to transform, to be built up in your business, whatever it is that you're believing God for, go to righteouswives.com and press the membership tab and join us. We're going to be meeting weekly on Thursdays. Amen. So that's separate from the fast. And then if you are in agreement with this word and you would like to sow a seed and give something for God to water for your harvest, you can also um, go to righteouswives.com or see the information in the description below. If this bless you today. All right. I love you all so much. That's our announcements. That's our time. Um, and hopefully I'll, God willing, I'll be back tomorrow night. All right. I love you guys so much and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Be blessed. <laughs>